deal with those expectations? Well, I don't worry about myself. I, I would like to live it up for the team because this team is a beautiful uh, group of young people who have worked very hard to get to this point, but it's not going to be expectations that when it's going to be offensive and defensive execution. Good luck, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. I don't know. You tried to read all kinds of things into those facial expressions. What do you see? Well, I see one, one thing for sure. Rick Pitino has to win a national championship. That's what everybody tells him. His team feeds off of that kind of energy. You would be concerned. Jim Beheim, on the other hand, no one expected him to be here, so he's relaxed, and he's got to translate that energy to his team. All right, coming up, we'll speak with a pair of coaches who have taken their teams to championships. But tonight, I'll be watching from <laughs> the stands. Duke Coke, Mike, Sh <laughs> Mike Krzyzewski, <laughs> and UCLA coach Jim Herrick when prelude to a championship continues. <laughs> yes, they did. CBS. The Kentucky Wildcats a short time ago. Rick Pitino looked so serious, but there they were in the hallway getting ready to go on to the biggest game of their lives. And they look ready. Right. You're looking live. They look ready, too, at the festivities in the Carrier Dome in Syracuse and in Lexington, Kentucky, where the round ball rooters have gathered to support their teams. Hello, folks. Keep waving. <laughs> joining us now are Jim Harry, coach of last year.